Design AI have now upgraded their AI video tools to now include camera control and lip sync. This is a really, really powerful tool for any creator looking to create any kind of video with a character or storytelling using Design AI's AI video platform. And we're gonna start with this image here, which some of you may recognize from when I first covered Design AI's AI video feature. And as a bit of a comparison, we're gonna come over here to AI video and I'm gonna choose Minimax Halo because that's what we're gonna be working with for the camera angles. I've got my image, I've got my prompt. I'm gonna come down and generate a video and we get this. Which has some fluid animation, but is quite still. But this time we come down to camera and we have some cinematic shots we can choose here or free selection to add in an angle or multiple angles to our video. So if I want to zoom out, I can select zoom out hit generate and our video will slowly zoom out. And it's easy enough to experiment. You can truck right, move to the right or even pan right if you wanna change the angle. There's a few different options here that you can try with these shots. We have pan right, push in, and shake, which makes the camera move around a little bit and remove some of the static nature you might get with these videos. But coming back, if I go back into camera, I can keep zoom out selected, but I can also say pan right or even tilt up and I can combine several angles into my video, but no more than three. And the result I get from that when I generate is a much more dynamic camera movement added to my video. But this is where cinematic presets come in because these presets are combinations of these camera movements. As you can see, there's a few different options here. So if I choose something like say a scenic shot, you can see over here, it says truck left, pedestal up, which gets you this shot where the camera slowly turns to the left and slowly tilts up. But compare that to stage right where the camera turns and sort of shows what's to the right of the character or left circling where we get a similar turn, except this time we are circling the character and not focusing to the right. And you can see by hovering over each tile exactly what each one does. So you can actually experiment with this a bit. However, the degree of movement may vary on your image and your prompt. Otherwise, you can still work with free selection and, and see what results you can get from there. But just remember in order to access these angles, you need to make sure on a video model you have Minimax Halo selected. And I tried a few other examples of images I've shared in the past or put in videos here using Design AI. And I think it does a pretty good job of controlling those camera angles. So you can see here the kind of quality you get when using Halo and using the camera angle feature. Now I took this example of the monk bowing and was able to change a few different angles and got a pretty good result with it overall. And I think due to the simpler graphics, it was a pretty consistent result with most of the videos I produced. And like any AI video, sometimes you get a little bit of jankiness here and there. So you may need to resubmit and try and improve your options or even adjust your prompt. But what about the lip sync feature? This creates a video with a character talking and I have this image I created quite a while ago. I'm gonna come over here to AI video, come up to lip sync I click pick an image and I can choose one that's on the canvas and we get this. But I also want it to be 16 to nine so it fills the screen. So I can come down here and choose a different aspect ratio. If I was on a phone, I could click nine to 16 and position him like this. But because we're doing a YouTube video, I'm gonna position him here. And I can even zoom out a little bit as well. So I've positioned him on here, I click done. And from there, I can come down to pick a voice and I can actually test these voices out. So obviously we have James, which is male. I can click play. I must not fear. Fear is the mind. That sounds pretty good. There's also Brittany, a female, which might not suit his face, but we'll give it a go. Find a comfortable place to lie down. And you can see here one says narrative, narrative, social media. This might not sound good for a monk, but hold on to your hats, folks, because the news coming out from it sounds pretty ridiculous, but we've got a few different versions. We have Alex Entertainment TV. Let me know in the comments. Narrative story. We've got a few different ones here, but I think I really like James, the first one. I feel like it has a nice strong voice for this monk. And up here, I can type in what I want my character to say. I can say, the power of the mind is limitless. It's just something I came up with to test out for this. I can click generate and play audio to see if I like the sound of it. The power of the mind is limitless. Now, I think that sounds pretty good, but it's also a bit short. So I'm gonna actually add a little bit more. We've only used 35 of 140 characters. So I'll add up here. So I now have a longer phrase, which I will now generate and play. The power of the mind is limitless. As a Shaolin monk, you will learn to empty your mind. 
Now, I think that sounds pretty good. It sounds like someone who's really talking officially, but the voice sounds pretty natural. I'm going to click Generate to see how well it translates to video. The power of the mind is limitless. As a Shaolin monk, you will learn to empty your mind. Despite the fact the background doesn't really move and only the character does, that was pretty natural. However, the resolution is not really super high on this. It's only 896 by 512. But I simply couldn't help myself. I took it into Topaz Video AI, went to Starlight to upscale it to a 1080p render. The power of the mind is limitless. As a Shaolin monk, you will learn to empty your mind. So until higher resolution is available, you still have this option to upscale externally. And this looks pretty good. But if we come back, you also notice it says here, upload audio. So if I want to record my own voice and put it in here, which would sound ridiculous. Luckily, I have some face swaps over here from an experiment on another video. So if I choose this image, come back, re-upload, choose my face. Again, I can go 16 to nine, adjust, hit done. Now come up here to upload audio. And then I record an audio file to upload. And I've recorded myself saying the same line. So I'm going to upload my WAV file. And I'm just going to go straight over here to generate. The power of the mind is limitless. As a Shaolin monk, you will learn to empty your mind. Now I always cringe a little bit when I put myself in these videos, especially because it, apart from my face, it doesn't really look or sort of like have the same build as me. But adding a voice to it, definitely creates a bit more of a connection and I'm a little bit more convinced and I think it's done a pretty good job. But again, I upscaled it and got this. The power of the mind is limitless. As a Shaolin monk, you will learn to empty your mind. The design themselves have actually released a few pretty good examples of how this works. I really like this one here, which shows a few different languages. This is on their x.com profile. Latest news. Design has launched lip sync. Por supuesto, no es solo gente real, incluso una imagen. So you're not just confined to English. There are a handful of languages that you can choose directly in the interface. And this means you can generate characters or images to use. You can also upload photos. There's a lot you can do with this tool and it can be used in a lot of different ways. Now to check those features out, head to the link in the description. Design AI have these features available. It's not on the free tier, but you can sign up for a free trial if you wish to try them out. So Design AI really is starting to become a real Swiss army knife of AI tools. Just the image tools alone and the editor are so powerful, but when you're able to combine that with the video tools, camera angles, lip sync, it's starting to get to the point where this is like a one-stop place to produce any kind of media that is visual and useful for content creators, storytellers, or anyone out there, really is constantly evolving. But that is the video for today, guys. I hope that you found it useful. If you did, please consider giving the video a like. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I hope to see you again next time. Have a great day.